got a thing for you And I can't let go My friends wonder what is wrong with me Hey, this is Daniel of Daniel G. Bennett's Science Shows, and I have something very cool to show you today on a very dry day. In other words, not much humidity in the air today. The uh, water vapor in the air is very low. Um, I'm a little sweaty, but, you know, it's Texas. What are you going to do? I just wanted to show you one of my friends back here. This is a, what is known as a Van de Graaff generator, and this is the star of my show, and that's one of the stars. I've got several. One is a phonograph from 1905, made by Thomas Edison's company. But this guy here... This guy always wins the hearts of children and adults alike, and, and it's a 1950s um, electrostatic Van de Graaff generator, and we can come down here and see that it's made by the American Electrostatic Company Incorporated. This was out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. This is a 1950s model. Um, do we have a serial number on here? I can't even read that if I wanted to. Why waste everybody's time? I need glasses. Accept life. Whatever. All right. So this guy was at was once um, in a museum in Chicago that happened to be some type of science and industry industry industrial <laughs> a museum of science and industry is what I'm trying to say and I'll let you uh, put two and two together on that one but it was it was uh, purchased by myself at auction back in the mid 2000s and has been um, Oh, making people smile and scream ever since but, but let's just check, let's let's check this out what is a Van de Graaff generator it is a, an electrostatic generator that generates electricity, high voltage static electricity, with static. Now, what in the world does that mean? Well, think about it this way. If this were a cloud and this down here were the ground and this were the air in between and when lightning jumps from a cloud to the ground, this is a good way to demonstrate how exactly that that works. But that's a little hard for people to comprehend sometimes because it's so massive, those lightning bolts can jump miles. Let's, let's, let's bring it down to earth a little bit. All right, imagine that you're walking across the carpet, all right, and your kid sister or brother is sitting over here and you're scraping your feet with your insulated shoes and then pop right in the ear, all right? Not the nicest thing to do to your siblings, but it happens. Um, anyway, this is a great device to demonstrate exactly how that works. We have a rubber belt inside of a, a column here, and down at the bottom is a felt roller that you can see right there inside the motor works. It's a little dark, but there is a, a motor belt, and it is on a felt roller, which represents the, the carpet that you're scraping your feet on. At the top up here, if I pull this off gently, you can see down inside there is a nylon roller. Now you're only you're looking at the gray belt when you see that. So that's all you're seeing is just a big gray belt. Put this top back on here. And at the top we have a, a round uh, shape here. And the reason why this is round is because it's, it's a capacitive surface. It doesn't have points to bleed off electrons easily into, the, into space. So it is a, uh, a capacitor of sorts and builds up an electric charge on it to a great point and then eventually shocks them back and takes everybody out. <laughs> All right, and then down here is a, a motor speed control. So I'm gonna turn this on and show you exactly what can happen in a really dry environment. Let me turn this on and just back away. All right, let's see if we can see this happen. We're looking for a giant bluish white arc to jump from the top to the bottom. And when that happens, if it does, you're looking at about 400,000 volts of electricity. Let me come over here. I can feel the, the electrons reaching out to me and I'm over two feet away. So all we need is for a leader to come from the bottom, start the, the journey upwards, and for the top to strike down just like lightning. I think we can make this happen. We just have to cross our fingers and see if we can catch it on camera. Oh, there was one. I knew you heard it. Now the Ah, there we go. Now the frame rate of an iPhone, there's another one, there we go. There's another one. All right. Now, if you're only seeing part of that, it's because the frame rate of an iPhone is such that when the speed of the lightning hits, you may have a frame that clicks on a, on a different section of that lightning bolt. So you may only see half of it or none of it. But that is a Van de Graaff generator in all of its glory. And it is uh, sizzling and crackling like crazy. 
We need one more leader to come down with this black background. Let's see if we can get one. Come on, do it. All right, it may not, but let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna take my, my sandal off down here so I can put my foot on the bare ground. And I'm gonna reach out here and we'll see. Let me get this back, back background again. Let's see if we can get some shocks to go to my hand. Oh, look at that, I'm so sweaty. And with my long hair, you're not seeing much of it go on. Well, interesting how it's sped up. And that's the problem. Let me put my shoe back on here. All right. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Oh, there was another one. There we go. Ah. So I don't have to use myself as a guinea pig after all. Wow. All right, here we go. All right. You know what? I'm not going to use myself as a guinea pig this time around. I've done that all day long. Turn the power off. And... Um, and that's a Van de Graaff generator in all of its glory. Tiny little discharge spark. Uh, I'm humid, all right? The humidity around me is, is mucho. The humidity around this thing is not so much. So this is making all kinds of sparks. I'm kind of ruining that effect with my humidity because I'm a sweaty guy. It's what I do, it's who I am. All right, well, anyway, that's a Van de Graaff generator and it's, it's kind of cool to, to watch one actually discharge to its own base because like I said, that, that is a distance right there. Well, let's, let's just come in here really quickly into the uh, laundry room and grab a, a ruler if I can find one. Here we go, all right. And we're gonna come back over here. We've got a little, uh, little uh, square here. Let's see if we can measure the distance. So we've got, that is a 12 inch ruler, exactly one foot. So let's add a few more inches to that. And we're looking at about uh, 13, 14 and a half inches. So that's about a 14 and a half inch gap. And that lightning is able to jump that. And um, depending on how potent the lightning bolt is, you're looking at about 400,000 volts of electricity from a little belt running across a couple rollers. Pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, hope that you keep learning about the world around you. If you get a chance to see some of this old cool vintage science, please do. You can always find lots of it on my science page, which is at Facebook forward slash, uh, facebook.com forward slash science shows dot tech or at my website at www.scienceshows.tech. And there you'll see all kinds of cool vintage electronics and um, uh, great things to throw you back to the days when lawyers weren't in charge of toy shops and parents weren't so helicoptery and kids uh, got some great scars. All right, we'll see you later. Have a great day. Bye bye.